All right, tonight we are going out to hunt some hogs with dogs. We got Turbo Charger and a new puppy of mine I just got uh, four days ago. How long, how long I had that dog? Five days. Five days ago, maybe. I just named it Hemi like two days ago. Turbo Charger Hemi. And we're going yeah. to a big ass sure. property that we hunt. Sugar cane. cane. We're gonna go pick up my buddy that is uh, the worker. He works out here in this sugar cane. That uh, his boss owns all this land. So he likes to hunt. We're gonna go pick him up. We're gonna head out in this sugar cane. I'm actually passing it right now. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna see if we can catch some hogs. Maybe we'll shoot a coyote. Maybe we'll get some footage. It's really hard filming hog hunting at night. That's why I haven't put out any videos in a really long time. It's because that's pretty much all we do anymore, other than do a little bit of deer hunting. And uh, hog hunting's our main thing with dogs. And filming a hunt at night, hard. it's real hard filming hog hunting at night, Bo. In the cane. In the cane's even harder. I don't know if anybody knows what sugar cane is. That stuff is thick. Got to Real thick. But we'll give a little bit of footage and see what we can come up with tonight. We hunt out here probably three times a week. It's about 40,000 acres what we're hunting on. We've got a few other cane fields that are full of deer, no hogs, which is weird. That's only, I think, 3,000 acres. But, gator. Had, oh, it's littered with gators out here, though. We Lots of alligators. Out gators. here. There's probably, I don't even know how, I don't even want to say, but there, there's 12, 13 foot gators all throughout this place. And that's one of my fear because it does happen. I've lost a dog to an alligator before, and I know a lot of people have, it happens. Hog hunting is hard on a dog sometimes. They do wear Kevlar vests and GPS tracking collars. They got everything, but you'll find out here. Oh, wow. Yeah, hopefully we get on them and catch some. At least one. <laughs> Got to find a fresh sign. If you're hunting 40,000 acres and crop field pretty much, sod fields and sugar cane, you can drive for literally hours. Sometimes we'll drive for two, three hours and not even see a fresh hog track. It's really, it's and then all of a sudden, really bam. Right yep. Chaos. And, and uh, yeah. And, and we'll come up, we'll just drive the roads, checking for tracks, checking for tracks, looking for something fresh, and then all of a sudden, boom, there's a fresh track. Put the dogs on them, they go in. They may run them, they may catch them right away. It just depends on the hog. Fighting hogs the best, but, you know, they don't always fight. A lot of runners. Big old gator. Yeah. This, old gator. this canal we're driving along, you could probably easily count 100 gators. It's just, they're everywhere. Now right here. Now that I'm showing this video, probably everybody's like, oh, I know where they're at. Well, <laughs> just don't get caught in where we're at. Because we do have permission to be out here, written permission. So if you don't, don't be, they're very strict out here. <laughs> You'll be in jail with the rest of the guys. Oh, yeah. Monster Gator. All right. Oh, it's not that great, but it's dark. There's Hemi, new puppy. Crazy little hyper boy. There's Turbo and Charger. We're about to get them ready. Put their vest on. Their GPS tracking collars. Ready to go. Y'all got a little light on here. Some old collars. Ready to go. Yeah. A little red bone coon hound mixed with curb. Pup. Turbo is a black mount curb. Mix with some other crap. Charger, Catahoula, Pitbull, Red Nose, Blue Nose, Pit, whatever. Mix. And we got their vest here. Draw them out, protect them. Getting them ready. Gonna get out there and see if we can find some fresh shit. Quick, fresh tracks. Um, I have jumping and it's gone. Yeah, probably a coyote. Probably a small one. I'm in night mode now. Whatever you want. IR mode. We're out here driving around. This battery dying, so I'm not gonna get footage tonight. 
I don't know if I should be an IR mode or just rig. Let me turn this off. And this is how we hunt it. We're in sugarcane fields. We got a spotlight running. Drive the roads. We're looking for tracks in the roads. Probably didn't get none of that audio because of the wind. <laughs> okay. Me friend. <laughs> Marcial. No. See? Marcial is teaching me Spanish. Bueno. <laughs> He's shy. All right, we just found some tracks, a little bit. Tracks, we're looking around, following the dogs a little bit. They're not really getting out too far, but we uh, let them run around. The puppies staying close, of course. Got some tracks here, but one thing that freaked me out as we're walking, the dead gator. That's pretty nasty. There ain't no holes or anything in it. No shooting or anything, but that's probably a 10 foot gator. Dead. Hey, Hemi. What my puppy doing? Come on. Bam. But we're just driving around. We found some tracks. There's a. Good to see it with the camera, but these tracks are all the way along this cane. Pretty old looking, maybe three or four hours. Come on, Hemi. You get out there with some other dog. Got a fresh sign up there? This sign right here. Turbo hit this and took off. This shit's thick. Running through here, no fun. Went off. Hopefully the dog get on one. Looks like they're in there. Had a bark, and we're looking at fresh tracks. Get Hemi. Fresh tracks all along here. Dogs just hit a, hit a pig, giving me a bark. You gotta put the light really low to the ground, and you can see a shadow across the tracks. If you look from up here, you won't see anything. You just see dirt. Look at this. This hog just was in here now, running out. Lights a little too bright. You see one? Well, the dogs are going crazy right up here. Hog came out up here. Put that puppy in on them. I don't have enough bright enough night. Motherfucker ran out. I thought it was a dog. 
dog. Then when fucking dogs All right. ran out behind them. Let them dogs work it. It's a big hog. Yeah. I've seen it. I thought it was a dog. We got good tracks over here. Is that a bark or was that you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You want to film or you want to catch it? I'll grab it. You got to do almost everything. I got hobbles. You got hobbles on you? Yeah, I'm right. We'll just... I didn't mean to turn the camera on, but now that I did... 250 yards out. We're going to try to walk to him instead of driving to him. Maybe we won't spook him. I can't get this camera on this GPS. So. I haven't heard any barks or anything for like a minute. The dogs will tend to bark a little bit in this thicker stuff. Even when they're like 10, 10 feet, 10 yards behind it because it's thick. It may get frustrated. But they usually aren't barking unless they're looking at them. The puppy I don't know about. This, this is the second time this puppy's been in the woods. It's only seven months old. I don't even know where he's at, so maybe he's on him too. I'm on the edge of the cane field. He's up there. A lot of sign right here. That's a freaking cow track. Let's see if I can get a visual of this. There's my hand. I can put my hand inside of that track. Yeah, it's in mud. It sinks in a little bit. A lot of frogs. <laughs> and my puppy. And they don't know what's going on yet. Dogs just came through here so I can't check it out. Looks like they're taking something in here, some kind of track. Kind of lost that other pig up in here. Hopefully it's the same one too. Let's see there. 280 yards, so I think they picked it up again. What do you think, Joe? I don't know where they at. 280 yards that way. Que pasa? Que pasa, man? <laughs> no say. Keep hearing them bark every once in a while. Right. I tried cutting them off. We've seen it. It's a big red hog. At this point, I got it. Them dogs are tired. It's 82 degrees out right now at night. So it's pretty hot out here. Turbo's hitting this corner. We were just standing on up there. If he ran out. So, I'm ready. My AR just in case. In case uh, it comes out when I cut them off. That's, you thought we got to be tired now. So, I only got the puppy left to put down a fresh dog. So, puppy don't know what the hell's going on though. 